Okay, we're back All with right. Dennis Perron uh, wrapping up the third, uh, part three of our third uh, part series on medicine, marijuana, and uh, the 21st century. That's right. Um, do you have any um, any tips or hints for medicinal activists out there um, who are still in a state that you can't legally get uh, marijuana and how how to get a citizen's initiative, or, or say they're, they're in a state that doesn't have a citizen's initiative component, uh, what sort of advice could you give them? Well, you know, uh, last time I was up in Canada, which was, I don't know, geez, about five, six years ago, I sat around with a bunch of activists, and uh, I, I, I told them, that, and I said, you know, if you're going to wait for the government to do anything, you're going to wait an awful long time. Yeah. And I started my cannabis club. I didn't wait for the government. I didn't ask anybody. I didn't ask the government, hey, can I open a club for sick and dying people? I didn't ask them. I just did it. And I told the people of Canada in Vancouver when I was there to open a club, a cannabis club for sick and dying people. And if you get busted, accept the consequences and defend your defend what you're doing. Yeah. Believe in what you're doing. And, you know, the people did actually form a cannabis club when I left uh, for sick people, people with AIDS, people with cancer. And I believe it's still going. It. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, there's about uh, 1,600 members now at the Compassion Club in Vancouver. And it's you know if you invite the media in, it's in their face, and you can show put a face on marijuana that is not the face of the angry 60 protester. Uh, that is a, per, a, a face of you know ordinary citizen. Yeah, you just happen to have something. Do you think it's uh, advantageous to be uh, um, not too big, not too Oh, no, I, call look in. It, I would call it as big as you can. I mean, then you show the bigness of the problem. Oh, I'm just saying that it might help that, let's say, that uh, you were kind of a smaller guy or that Hillary Black and, and her uh, people. It just looks bad when you have a whole bunch of cops hauling out a whole bunch of little girls all under and, five foot ten. And at the same time, you know, they're going to drag them to court and we'll win. Yeah, you know? I mean, true. then we will win. So, you know, that's why they don't drag it to court. Get it? Yeah, the the, the cops that, haven't raided that place once. They won't raid it either. They're yeah. not going to drag those people off. So then we show, if we have publicity, which I think is a key component of this, we tell people what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> totally. We'll be proud of what we're doing. Come out of the closet to exactly. all you, you growers, dealers, and users. Exactly, and let's bring down the price of marijuana. Well, let's what do you think uh, the price of marijuana should be at the end of this year, say in Vancouver or, or in the United States? Or how much a gram? Oh, uh, I say about uh, two to three dollars a gram. Two to three dollars a gram. That's retail. a good standard. Retail. That's retail. For for medicinal or for the. Uh, it's all medicinal. It's yeah, all I medicinal. Understand that when I believe that. You know, <laughs> I don't believe that anybody's getting recreating. I don't believe it. There is no such thing. Well, well let's talk about performance enhancement for a second. I believe it increases it. I, I I do too. I think that if you use it properly, it can uh, slow time down and and make you be able to react better and more efficiently. I believe it. You know, a lot of people like to say, you know, it used to be this adage that you get lazy on marijuana. You know, everyone I know smokes marijuana is active and and it's like all those and shakers though. and uh, the thinkers and Carl Sagan smoke pot on a daily basis. That's true. And the guy saw black holes. <laughs> you know, he saw things you can't even see. Well, probably many people in history who. Uh haven't admitted or fessed up to it have been smoking on a daily basis. I think even some of the pharaohs were smoking it, you know? I, I think it was way back in Sumer that they first started beating out leaves in gold shape of marijuana. Hey, look, our next president smoked it for three years, supposedly. <laughs> Are you gore. talking gore? Gore. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of gore? Tell me what, you, what well, your impressions you know, are I of him. Well, I think he will do the right thing in the end. You know, I, you know we'll crawl to the polls for him. Yeah. And in the end, when he gets elected, we'll hate him. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, is there any way to, you know, uh, push him to the, the wall, so to speak? Well, you know, I believe he's already there. I mean, the guy smoked pot for three years. He used to dream up ways to get it legalized. And he sits around like we sit around. He used to sit around like we sit around. How are we going to legalize this stuff and make a better society? I so, believe he thought the same thing. So does he have the power to do it, though, if well, he, he has a will? Well, he's be president, you know, I mean. What does it take, though? Well, I think it takes, you know, this campaign that we've got going. We've got to make it easy for them. Yeah. And that's what we, that is our job. Our job is to make it easy for them to do it. And I can't see any better way than to prove that marijuana is a medicine for everybody. So do you think if all 26 states that are allowed to have citizens' initiatives all vote in mar medicinal marijuana, then 
that'll be enough for Gore to... Uh, I believe marijuana is going to be rescheduled under the Gore administration to Schedule 3. Yeah? And then, you know, it screws up everything. As soon as that happens, you know, all these laws are predicated on Schedule 1. They're called Schedule 1 laws. I mean, they're called the marijuana laws, but it's really called the Schedule 1 law. Right. And that everyone's prosecuted under Schedule 1 law. There is no, there's hardly any prosecution under Schedule 3. It's a misdemeanor. There's no warrants allowed, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, pretty much the war will be over once it's Schedule 3. Uh, I, I, I just can't wait for that. Oh, uh, no, it's just like, it, it psych, sounds like administrative psycho, psycho babble. But, you know, the war has been raging on for 50 years. It's just going to be done with the stroke of a pen. And then, and then how long before, after that, before you can walk into uh, New York uh, Cannabis Cafe and order uh, Royal well, Nepalese Temple Balls? I think that'll happen balls. quick, but when, when will the day you'll see it on television? That is, you know, you want to relax, smoke some marijuana. I think that'll be about 10 years from now. Well, uh, hopefully uh, we'll get our Internet site up here and we'll have some commercials for cannabis sooner than that. Well, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> we'll there... get the Cannabis Club to take an ad out. <laughs> well, for sure. I they... think they should advertise. They should try to compete with uh, all God, those yeah, synthetics. We get, how are we going to get uh, you know, people served? Uh, we, should, we should compete against those more harmful drugs like caffeine. Yeah, <laughs> you know, harder drugs. Harder exactly. drugs like that. Yeah, and alcohol. Alcohol, tobacco. Yeah. Uh, Ridlin, Prozac. Yeah, we have a right to uh, compete with them guys. Uh, we're as good as them, and we're, we're a little better. Yeah, <laughs> thalidomide. Yeah, well, thalidomide's have, hurts, helping some people, I, I, I understand. Oh, really? Yeah, the AIDS patients are taking it now, and it seems to uh, well, it help something. I forgot what it did. But yeah, they're actually using it. Well, that that's good that it's finally helping people. But I I heard that the packaging was a little faulty. They have a a picture of a pregnant woman with a line through her, like no pregnancy. Oh yeah, because you remember they had all the thalidomide babies. Yeah, but uh, the thalidomide uh, associations and groups are a little concerned that you try to hawk those pills off on the third world people, and they'll mistake them for contraceptives. Oh. I see you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Find out fast, man. These these drug companies. I think they they try to take too many shortcuts or, or just try to set up too many monopolies. But in the end, um, I, I, I I can't think of of too many synthetics that don't have a, a herbal equivalent, and that that couldn't possibly be replaced by some organic herbalist. I agree, and uh, and marijuana, I think, will uh, replace a lot of the drugs that are on the counter now. It it will just turn over the the move from a I guess a synthetic uh, health system to a more natural health system. I I hope so, and I hope that uh, you know eventually it turns us into a more peaceful society too. Yeah, I guess the uh, the relaxed, hungry, and happy should inherit the earth, eh? And, and, and you know the people that are so afraid of the people of the '60s to say, "Oh, this is a peace drug." They were totally right. I mean, it is a peace drug, and you know, the people that smoke it get more peaceful. And I believe that once we get everybody smoking it, we're going to have a more peaceful world. Yeah, it just kind of dilates the veins and ventricles of the universe. I'm a big proponent of it. Yeah, I know I you are. You're one of the you, biggest. And I think you should. I think everyone should be on it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. On that note. Yeah. I, I got to thank you for this time here. Oh, well, and, thank you for having me. And, and uh, thank thank you for all your work, your love hard work. Canada. Done. I like come up, up to Canada any time. I'd like to make it up there just so Mark Emery and Time Magazine. Guys, you guys getting famous. Well, he's got some good seeds available, I hear. I know. I planted some <laughs> of them last year, and they turned out very well. Yeah? What did you, what'd you plant out of Mark's? I can't remember what I planted out. The White Widow came out very good. Oh, really? He gave me about 10 seeds, 20 seeds, and I planted them all. And and do you have some of those pictures up on your, your website? I That's, certainly do. And for th those who didn't get it the first time, www.marijuana.org. Short for orgasm. <laughs> yeah. Marijuana orgasm. Yeah, well, some people put com, and we're not com. No, you're, Org. you're not com at all. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, on that note, I've got to say goodbye to you. Uh, have a wonderful day, and uh, hope to hear from you real soon when this is all over. Thank you, brother. Okay, brother. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.